Hey, what's up guys? I'm sure you've seen tons of viral shorts and reels with crazy cool graphic animations, the ones racking up millions of views. But guess what? Today I'm showing you how to make those yourself in CapCut step by step. So if you're ready to level up your content and get those views rolling in, let's get started. All right, let's kick things off with our first and easiest graphic animation, which I like to call morph animation. First, throw whatever background you want onto your timeline. Then drag in your first graphic, I'm using the sun here, and scale it down to 35%. Do the same with your second graphic, for me that's the moon. Now select both graphics and slide them over to the left side. Click on the sun, make sure your playhead is right at the beginning, then head over to the right and add a keyframe under transform. Move your playhead forward about 40 frames, then drag the sun over to the right side it'll automatically create a new keyframe for you. To smooth out the animation, right click on the sun, go to variable speed animation, select X axis, highlight the keyframe, then go into graph editor and choose cubic ease for a nice smooth motion. Now we're gonna copy these settings over to the moon. Right click the sun, Hit copy attributes, then right click the moon and past attributes. Just confirm everything as it is. You'll see now both graphics move the same way. Next, move your playhead to the middle between both keyframes. We want to cut off the first part of the moon, but if we just delete it, we will lose the keyframes. So first create a compound clip of the moon. Now you can safely delete the first half without losing any animation. We gotta do the same thing for the sun. Create a compound clip, but this time delete the second half. To make it even smoother, scroll down, turn on motion blur and set the blur to 40 and blend to 70. Do the same for the moon. If you hit play now, you'll see we've got a nice smooth morph animation. You can actually use this technique with all sorts of graphics, like showing human evolution, from monkey to human. Now let's jump into our second animation, liquid time animation. Start by importing any background you want and stretch it to just over 10 seconds. Then add a text layer, stretch it all the way to the end, type just a space and make it a little bigger. Scroll down, click background, change the color, set the width to 50% and the rounded rectangle to 100% to make it a perfect circle. Duplicate it, but change the color in the background section, not in the regular color settings. Now to make a gradient effect, create a compound clip from the black circle, go to video, mask, add mask and pick split. Flip the mask around and pull the feather handle down so you get a nice soft gradient. Highlight both circles and create another compound clip. Now head over to effects, search for wave and drop the gentle ripples effect onto our circle. Go back to text, add a new text layer, stretch it to the end, type a capital O and change the font to Montserrat light so it looks thinner. Scale it up to around 23. Duplicate the O, make it gray and move it underneath the white one. Highlight it, then go to animation, scroll down and add a circle wipe animation set to 5 seconds. Move one frame forward, highlight both layers and cut off the right part by pressing W. Then compound them again. Duplicate that compound clip and click the reverse icon to flip the animation. Next, compound those two clips together. 
move your playhead to the start, highlight the blue circle, go to video, drag it down to the bottom of the white circle and add the keyframe. Remember your Y axis value. At the 5 second mark, drag the blue circle up so it fits the white outline. At 10 seconds, set the Y value back to one you memorized like minus 1250. Create another compound clip for the blue circle. Then go to mask, add mask, circle, adjust it to fit inside the white outline. And just like that you've got a liquid time animation. Just a quick heads up, I just wanted to let you know that I've created a CapCut masterclass for anyone serious about video editing and ready to level up. I will guide you step by step to become a pro at video editing in CapCut, so if you're interested just click on the link below in the description. Now on to our final animation, what I call the ball beat animation. Add some text, stretch it out to 13 seconds type a space and scale it up. Scroll down, enable background, pick a color, max out a round on rectangle and set the width to 50%. Shrink it down nice and small, then duplicate it twice. Highlight the top one and turn it off for now. Highlight the second one, change its color to light gray Then turn it off too. Now highlight the first one and change its color to darker gray. With the top circle selected, set the Y position to 1164 and add a keyframe. Move 15 frames forward and set the Y back to 0. Go 5 frames back. Move the second circle to playhead, set its Y to 1164 and keyframed it. Move 10 frames forward, set Y to 0 again. Now move the third circle to the playhead and repeat. If you play it, you'll see a bouncing ball animation starting to form. Next, highlight the first circle and duplicate it. Delete all the keyframes on this new one. Scroll down, change the background color, shrink it down, click keyframe on size, and set the blend opacity to 40% and keyframed it. Move 5 frames forward, set opacity to 100% and scale to 37. Now let's add the text for our circle outline. Type a bunch of underscores until it stretches across the screen. Scroll down to curve, crank it up to 360 degrees to turn it into a circle. Adjust by adding more underscores if you need to get a cleaner circle. Change the color to blue and add a glow effect. Shrink it way down so it's smaller than the white circle. Set the keyframe on scale and opacity at 100%. Move 10 frames forward, scale it up a bit and fade the opacity to zero. Highlight the small blue circle, move 30 frames forward and duplicate it. Duplicate the thin blue outline circle too. Now for each new copy of a blue circle, on its second frame increase the scale say to 50. Keep duplicating and scaling up each time.
Finally, let's polish it up with sound effects. For the first bouncing dot, search for a cinematic hit sound. Edit and sync it when the dot hits. Duplicate the sound for the other two dots. For the blue dots, find a heartbeat sound effect Trim it to a single bit and sync it where the blue dot grows. Lastly, you can even create a compound clip for the white dots, add a glow 2 effect and do the same for the blue ones too. And that's it! You've got yourself a really cool ball beat animation.